So, now that you've identified the small slice of time each day that you can use to build your dream, the next question is, how do you make the most of it? If your day is so busy that all you can afford is 30 minutes a day, then I highly recommend that you start to practice learning how to enter the zone. Not the friend zone, the zone. The zone is a heightened state of awareness where you basically unlock superhuman levels of productivity. And I'm not even exaggerating. If you ever wanted a real life superpower, you learn how to enter the zone. The zone is a real life bankai in which you can do in one hour what normally takes people six. The zone is how you become the one man army. This is how you do by yourself what normally takes multiple people to accomplish. If you're a programmer, then you've probably experienced this as a rare time in your life where you basically became God. All the code just made sense. Nothing you typed had any errors. You just flawlessly composed and compiled script as if it was music on a sheet. Things that normally took days to compile were just coming together in minutes. And then your boss drops by and drags you to a 30 minute meeting and when you arrive back at your post, the momentum is gone. The new code you write returns errors as normal and you're right back to a normal day at work. And you just don't understand what happened and why you can't do that again. Well my friend, that was called the zone. That is a mental state where you are on a roll and completely focused on a single task and killing it. Now, I know what I'm about to say is gonna sound really dumb, but for reals, I learned about the zone from anime. There's this common theme that shows up in a lot of different animes where the main character has access to this crazy strong power, but the catch is they can't stay in that power for very long. And one of my favorite depictions of this is in the show Bleach, in which basically the main character has a dark side to him, and that dark side of him is extremely powerful, but he can't control it, and he can only actually maintain that power for 11 seconds. Now, part of the reason he can't control it is because He's afraid of himself. He doesn't like that part of himself. It's ugly, it's unpredictable, and it's scary. And thus, he tries to suppress it. He pretends it doesn't exist, or that he doesn't need it. But of course, that only makes it worse, and holds him back from growing into the stronger person he needs to become in order to protect the people he cares about. Now, I don't know if Kubo, the creator of Bleach, did this on purpose, but I have found that this really translates hardcore into the real world. I always thought that 11 seconds was an extremely arbitrary amount of time, but something that I noticed is 11 seconds is about how long I can focus on something without getting distracted. 11 seconds is actually about how long most people can dedicate 100% of their attention into something before their mind wanders somewhere else. After 11 seconds, most of us start looking for ways to procrastinate, we check our phone, we look for notifications or messages on Discord, and every time your mind wanders like that, you lose all the momentum for whatever it was you were trying to do. And that's really what I've found to be the secret. The zone is literally made out of momentum. And momentum is made out of focus. And when you lose focus, you lose momentum and the zone is gone. And if you want to get back into the zone, you have to start rebuilding your momentum from zero. It's kind of hard to explain, so I have created this fake game to demonstrate the effects of the zone. That's right, I made a game just for this video, just for you. So here's how this game works. There are two variables. One is how close you are to finishing your goal, and the second is your momentum. The more momentum you have, the faster you complete your goal. But every time you get distracted, the momentum drops back down to zero and you have to build it back up again. So here's what it actually looks like when you're in the zone. Triple kill, overkill, kill, kill, cross kill, jar, kill, apocalypse, kill, task repeat. Now, here is what that same task looks like when you're not in the zone. Double kill, triple kill. Double kill. 
Now, what I want you to notice here is I didn't change any of the values between the first take and the second. The only difference between the two takes is the second take has three distractions in it. Notice how when we were in the zone with no distractions, this task took us 11 seconds to complete. Compare that to the second take, each distraction on their own only took about five seconds before we got back to our task. But here is what most people don't realize. You didn't just lose five seconds each time you got distracted. You lost all the momentum you had before those five seconds. And in the grand scheme, that momentum translates to way more than five seconds per distraction. And I think five seconds per distraction is actually pretty generous. And with just three distractions, a task that normally took us 11 seconds took almost four to five times as long. So just be aware that small distractions add up really fast and they can really break your momentum and take you out of the zone. And remember, don't get frustrated if you have trouble staying in the zone. There's a really good reason why the biggest obstacle that most of the protagonists face in an anime is a dark mirror version of themselves. Because you yourself are usually the biggest barrier. You have, right now in you, crazy awesome power. The only thing keeping you from accessing it is you. Now, I don't think you truly understand just how dangerous and unstoppable your mind would become if you could even just enter the zone for 10 minutes a day. Like, for reals, 10 minutes of work in Bankai is basically the same as an hour of work normally. Imagine all the random, useless information you've accumulated while procrastinating. Now imagine if you could convert 10% of that into something you really wanted. Well, that's a thing you can do. That's a real power you can have. You have a Bankai. There's a next level form of you that's probably crazy awesome and powerful that you can access right now. The problem is, you can probably only maintain it for about 11 seconds. So try to practice and train to extend your Bankai by, you know, a couple of seconds, maybe each week. Like, put your phone in a stopwatch mode, start working on your goal, and as soon as you notice you get distracted, stop the watch and check how long you were in the zone. Personally, I can only stay in the zone for about 30 minutes at a time. But, you know, I'm trying to work on it, and, you know, hopefully I can bring it up to about an hour eventually. And, yeah, that's really hard, but I really truly believe that it's probably the most important skill that I can master. So practice your Bankai. Enter the zone. When you got shit to do, that's how it gets done. So, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.